Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV Patch 6.2 with me, Mioni. Here we are actually over in my island sanctuary, as tonight's a very special time for me personally because this is the night where I finish off all of the buildings uh, pretty much um, up to completion at least of, of the lighthouse of my island. So if you're not familiar, uh, essentially the rank 10 landmark is that over there which is a, a lighthouse we'll have a look at it in a second but i also finished off my upgrade of my final um granary as well today which is awesome i've been uh, looking forward to this considerably i'm not is this the one that i upgraded no it's the other one i get mistaken between the two of them i'll be honest with you so basically if you're worried about when you first start out on the island what to actually build uh, you'll note that you can pretty much get everything. Um, you get, uh, as you can see here, as we go to the tooltip window thing of the crafting, after this finishes loading, come on, uh, you've got a set limitation, and it upgrades uh, the limitation on how many buildings you can have the further you progress, until a maximum, as you can see here, of three workshops and two granaries, essentially. Um, you can only have two granaries in total in 6.2 and three workshops. You, however, can upgrade them all to rank three, as you can see. And the further you upgrade things, the better overall your crafts, handicrafts and things like that will be, right? The returns that you get back. Granaries upgrade uh, by having two and upgrading those to level three. You're getting upwards of four items per time that you send your granary missions off, for example, with your NPCs. Uh, you know, to get your garnets and things like that. So a good PSA would be to go early, set those off to get garnets and um, spruce logs. And then eventually you're going to need silver ore as well. Those three things. And the reason I say silver ore is because that's what's needed for the last landmark as well. So as you can see, we've fully upgraded everything now. So um, let's go and upgrade our, uh, I was going to say windmill, our lighthouse, which is the final landmark. You get three landmarks in total, so you don't have to worry about where you put your landmarks. Uh, sorry, four landmarks in total. I'm I'm incapable. Uh, but of course, you can choose where those go. Uh, a little bit of customization with the island. Not a terrible amount, as people would have probably liked. But again, this is only the first iteration of the island as it progresses. So this is the final thing then like now all of the spots are full and this is our final landmark which is of course the lighthouse now there is one actual uh, one more light landmark after this we're, we're going to do a separate video on that because it's actually quite detailed how you go about that in terms of the crafting i do have that set up and we are going to set that in motion probably for tomorrow because it's going to take a while to change the landmarks so uh, just bear that in mind there is one more secret one but as you can see, we have ourselves uh, four of four landmarks, and this is the final one, which, as I said, um, you know, does require the silver ore, not that it's letting us see that. So can we go inside? What does it look like? Ah, uh, dear. So with a windmill, that was the thing I was most disappointed with, was the inability to climb up. And unfortunately, that would appear to be the factor here as well. That's a real shame. A lighthouse without a spiral staircase. That's a bit unfortunate. You know, I probably prefer the windmill to the lighthouse now, just simply because of the slight elevation that you can get. But of course, at rank 10, obviously, and we already looked at this in the previous video, see previous flying on island video about the credentials. Once you've unlocked flying, you are able to uh, jump up. That door does appear to be closed, though such a strange building actually this is not how i imagined it to look but it, it's cool regardless uh, i just wish that it had more functionality with being able to climb up the towers and things but we do indeed have a beautiful lantern atop here very 1200s-esque like the, the signal fires kind of lighthouse rather than a spinning thing which is how they used to do it right that's how ships avoided rocks is they used to light a big pyre atop a, a tower and that was the first iteration which uh, probably saved a lot of lives and the last thing we want is somebody wrecking a cruise ship into the side of our precious island now that it's mine of course but that's the final landmark um so yeah once you've done that there is actually the unlock process uh for the, uh, the other landmark as well um one of the other things that you'll notice once you finish your island if we talk to the felicious furball 
They say, I must say, I love what you've done with the place. Look how many buildings there are. I feel right at home. Anyway, the curious courier told me to tell you it has a message for you. The irony seems lost on the half-wit. It has one job, just the one. Brilliant. And there we go. And holy moly, we just got 5,000 Seafurus cowries for completing. I did not expect that. <laughs> so even more reason to finish your island. 5,000 cowries. And well, that, that's, that's made me feel 10 times better. The fact that obviously we had 3k to spend and we got 5k back. That is delicious. So what does the courier have to say? Holy moly. Oh, we got a reward. The land, wind and sea. Okay. Hey, so originally I was going to include this next bit and actually read through this. Uh, simply for the reasons I think it's best for you to enjoy the storyline yourself. I'm going to skip past this and go straight to the reward. Um, so please, you know, obviously, you know, enjoy that to your own uh, leisure. It is storyline related, so I'm going to leave it be. Okay, there we go. So our final reward then from this entire venture is a five piece glamour set. Holy moly, we're going to have to look at this in detail. It is fully dyeable, and it has no gender locks, so of course you can use them on whatever gender your character is. Level 1 and above, so any class. Brilliant stuff. And also, you'll notice that it's five-piece because they give you a choice of either some cut-off jeans or some long, wide bottoms. So that's nice as an option if you lean towards one type or the other, but it does mean that if you're a male character, you're no longer cut away from what would originally be classed as like a feminine option in that direction uh, with Square Enix's usual, usual stuff. But it's nice to see that you can equip any of this. That's really cool. Nice and progressive. I like to see that. All right, let's go and have a look at that outfit in somewhere that's not dark. All right, so this set, as I said before, obviously is a five piece, but it's obviously four when you equip uh, pieces in every slot when we've got the swap out of jeans or cut jeans um, basically as we look about this it is keen to know that there is a hat like a summer hat that you would normally have on your head but this is part of the chest and that's suspended on your back uh, this is actually quite a nice feature a lot of people originally decided that they would like to have something like this in fact one of the famous memes I don't know if you've ever seen it uh, is a picture of somebody in Gpo's community uh, taking a picture of, of a sun hat on someone's back, uh, which looked very convincing. It turns out they'd had a Lalafell play dead on a wall in front of them and then clip their head through the chest of their character so that the straw hat appeared to be on the back of their character. So at least no Lalafells will need to be harmed to actually to actually get the same effect this time um obviously there is clipping issues uh, shorter hairstyles are going to favor this better but you know it is what it is at the end of the day right clipping happens with even the greatest of items but it is one of those things that you uh, you know you make a conscious decision hair wise depending on what piece of gear you're wearing or you just live with it uh the dieability when it comes to the full set is um uh, slightly disappointing i will say i'm i'm surprised how uh, diable this set is but at the same time what doesn't die so the main chest piece is one of the bigger issues considering that the center will always stay um the, the black uh you know sorry the white color and then whatever you change the color to be it black or whatever will be the ribbons uh, the the legs die quite nicely on the shorts and uh, the feet do it's just that chest piece in the middle that middle palette will always be white so you're limited as to what you would go uh, what, what you would match with that right so and it's not a pure white kind of color either it's quite a washed out sort of gray white so that it adds even more limitations but honestly i'm nitpicking it is a wonderful set of glamour i like several pieces from it i think that it's going to be a very nice accompaniment to other sets that i can come up with a side note about the jeans then once we're here uh their diability is, is pretty much uh, what you would expect um it's the same sort of diability as the gloves etc so they're quite nice actually we've got other jeans like this kind of in the game but not with the same kind of belt the buckles and of course the turnips at the bottom adding that kind of semi-flared bottom uh not you know not 
skin tight, not skinny jeans. So yeah, then they look nice with suspenders. So what my suggestion for this set is, is actually to mix and match with some of the other outfits that have suspenders on them. Perhaps you could use the Animo suspenders, uh, considering those would match perfectly and have a much better diability uh, palette. Just as a demonstration here, um, it goes nicely with both of those legs, although the, the sleeves are longer, but that's just an idea anyway. I thought I'd include that. But yeah, what a nice little extra reward. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the island. There is one other thing, like I say, which is a, another landmark, but that requires its own video, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, what, what have you thought about Island Sanctuary? Was it a surprise to you that we got a glamour set out of this? It certainly was for me. I'm very excited to uh, make guides on lots of other things and get stuck into all of the rewards as well. And uh, for that, stay tuned on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye. All right, time to start farming some calories. Oh, yeah.